What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also smash that like while you're at it. If you want to become a channel member, you can also click join just to the left of subscribe. Check out our new website at StellaCrewGaming.com, and you can also find us on all of our social media platforms at just Stella Crew Gaming. With all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it. Alright you guys, welcome back. Be prepared, this is going to be a long one. This is how to do a full modded outfit using only the two console glitch, aka Beth. So I'm going to show you how to put logos, how you can do torso one, how we can do a complete full outfit. And for all the requests I've always been getting, I haven't done it yet, I am also going to be doing a black deadline. So for all of you guys who have been waiting for a black deadline, it is finally here. So first off, obviously if you're not familiar with the two console glitch, I will leave a link down below to the full tutorial. I have covered it many, many times, so I'm going to be skipping through it here pretty quick. Otherwise, this would be an hour and a half video. All right, so I'm going to do the CEO vest, which I've already gotten from the CEO glitch. I've also got the paramedic belt, which I also got from the husky job. Um, and I got some joggers that I wanted from the adversary mode. Okay, so this is a brand new account, so I had none of that, so I had to get all of that before we got going. Now for the console one outfit, we want the styled, stylized Guffy Puffer, number 67 of 110. All right, so that's under sports jackets. Then under designer t-shirts, we want the black print t-shirt. All right, now the pants and the shoes don't really matter at this point. Those are the main two that you want. So make sure you have that sports puffer jacket and the designer t-shirt, and that's gonna be our console one outfit. Now for console two, we wanna have the white biker suit, all right? So you gotta make sure it's the white one, or I should say racing suit, it's the white racing suit. This is just going to make sure that we get the logos on our console two outfit, um, and then it'll allow us to merge whatever logos we want, but we need this for the first bit. Now for a merge outfit, we wanna just go down to smart jackets, and we wanna have the navy quilted jacket, and we're gonna leave on the same designer shirt. All right, so we're gonna have three outfits made. We've got our C1 outfit with the puffer jacket. We've got our C2 with the racing suit, and we've got this merge outfit. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have the Israel parachute as well. We're gonna select our console one outfit, and we're gonna put the parachute on to force the save in the bottom right-hand corner. Now at this point, this is when you would log into your second console, and we're gonna switch to our console two outfit, which is going to be the racing suit. All right, once you force a save on your console two, we log back into our console one, or I should say switch back to our console one, and we're gonna go ahead and take that parachute off. All right, so again, if you're not familiar with the Beth glitch, I will leave a link down below. I'm not gonna go through it here thoroughly, but this is the result. So once we've merged our two, console one and console two outfit, this is the result. So we're gonna take it straight into Crooked Cop. We do not want to go into the clothing store ammunition at this point. We simply wanna take it into Crooked Cop. Now we want to make sure that navy quilted jacket was saved in either spot 1 or spot 19 because when we go into Crooked Cop we're going to simply go once to the right and once to the left just like we always do. So make sure our clothing is on player owned and we're going to wait for somebody to join. Once they join we're going to go ahead and go into it. So again I do apologize I am kind of skipping through some of this here pretty quick but again this is a lot of stuff you should be already familiar with. Um, and again, if you're not, I will leave links down below to the full tutorials. Um, but here we are, we're going to just wait for somebody to join, uh, and then we'll just merge these two together. Alright, so here we go, somebody finally joined. So now again, we're just going to go once to the left and once to the right, or once to the right, once to the left, depending on where you have it saved. And this should be your end result. So as you can see, we've got the logos on the navy quilted jacket. So just like any other crooked cop, we're going to put an earpiece on and then we're going to go into our um, clothing store and we're just going to save it. Now this one we want to label as C2 Keep, okay? So this is going to be kind of like our default console 2 outfit that we can change the pants and shoes um, so that our textures don't change on our console 1. So you want to save that where it's somewhere else because we're just going to leave that for the moment. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick the logos that we want. All right, so you can go through any of these. The only one that doesn't work is the navy racing suit. That one will not work, but the gray, red, black, green, or white will work. 
So for me, I'm gonna use the black one. So I'm gonna now save this as my new C1 outfit. So whatever logos you want. This will also do the belt if you wanna keep that belt also. So if you want both at the same, it works out great, but I'm gonna show you how to change the belt. Now for our console two outfit, we're just gonna use that one we just made. So that's C2 keep, okay? Now we need to build, build up our merge. So for the merge, we wanna go into t-shirts. All right, so just regular t-shirts right here. And we wanna go up to the green one, okay? So the green v-neck, which is 66 of 78. The rest doesn't matter. We're just gonna save this now as our new merge. So I've, I've saved it here in slot number 20. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and same as before, we're gonna select our console one outfit, which is now going to be the racing suit with the logos that we want, okay? We're gonna keep the parachute on the Israel parachute. And so we're gonna put the parachute on. So we get our save icon in the bottom right hand corner. Now, once we do get our save, we're gonna switch to that C2 key outfit on our console two once we log in. And then once we get that save, we're gonna go back to our console one, of course, and we're gonna remove that parachute, okay? Now, this is gonna be our result once we do come back into a session. Now, we're gonna take it straight into Crooked Cop, just like before. And then also, same as before, we're gonna go one to the left and then one to the right to merge on the green shirt, all right? So as you can see, we have the logos that we want. We got the red logos from the black racing suit, and it also carries over the black racing belt. So again, if you wanted to keep the racing belt as is, you can, but I'm gonna show how to switch it to the paramedic belt later on. Um, so we're gonna make a few changes. But first we wanna save this as our new C1 outfit, okay? Now from here, we wanna go into the tops, and I'm just gonna change the top from the belt. So again, I wanna change the belt, so I'm gonna take it off. And I actually wanna go down into the um, utility vest sections, section, utility vest section. And I wanna go down, I mean, you could put any of these on if you wanted to, if you wanted to actually keep it on your outfit, you could do so. Um, but I'm actually gonna go down to the, I was actually looking for it here right now, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, I was actually talking to Silent earlier, so big shout out to her. Um, of course, just like many other, she is the founder of this particular method. So we're gonna use the sand plate carrier. Sand plate carrier is going to be our merge component for our torso one when we wanna change the belt. So whether we wanna put an air racing suit belt on, um, or we want to do a different cop belt, paramedic belt, whichever, group sex belt, those type of things, you can go ahead and put those on. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put on the um, Love Heart Boxer Shorts, okay? So this is going to be one of our merge components for the pants, but first we're going to do the shoes. So once we have the torso one and the logos that we want, the next step is the shoes. So for console one, we want to have no shoes, okay? So we're going to save this as our new C1 outfit. Now for the second, we're gonna go skate shoes. We wanna to go to the gray skate shoes. And these are gonna be a different C2, okay? So do not overwrite your C2 keep. That's very important. This is gonna be like a secondary C2. So that's why I have the other one named as C2 keep, okay? Cause that's only gonna be used when we wanna to merge our torso two. Now I'm gonna put on the deadline shoes. So I'm gonna put the deadline suit in my merge slot. So again, number one or 20 doesn't matter. We're gonna make sure that is there. And now we're going to change our parachute to the classic. Okay, so we change it to classic. So we're going to go ahead and select our C1 outfit and we're going to put the classic parachute on, which is going to force our save. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead on our console two and we're going to select the console two outfit, which has the skate shoes. Then once we force our save there, we're logging back into our console one and we're just going to remove that parachute. All right, so if everything is done correctly, um, this here is going to be the final result. And then just like before, we're gonna take it into Crooked Cop. So we should not be wearing shoes, that is key. We do not wanna be wearing shoes. If we're wearing shoes, then it did not work. We're gonna have to do that part again. So again, we're gonna go into Crooked Cop and we're gonna go once to the left to our deadline suit and then back to the right to merge the shoes, all right? So now this is going to be our new console one outfit. So when we do load into a session, we're just gonna go ahead and save this now as our console one outfit. Now we're gonna build out the pants, okay? So you're gonna start off with logos and torso, then we're gonna work our way from the bottom up to the top. So we're gonna go shoes, and then we're gonna go up to pants. 
So we got the Love Heart Boxers here, which is what we want to keep on our C1 outfit. But for C2, we're going to change it to these jeans. All right, so we're going to go into the worn black jeans. So worn black regular fit, which is 43 of 77. And then we're going to go into the shoe section, and I want to change the color of these deadline shoes. I don't want them white. I actually want them black. So I'm going to go into the rubberized boots, and I'm going to go down to the Woodland Trail boots. That's going to give me the black deadline shoes. Now, all of these components can be found at llsilxnt.com. That's Silence Beth website. I will leave a link down below to the website so you can look up all these textures. Now we want to go ahead and put the pants that we want into our merge slot. So I'm going to be using the black joggers, so they're now in my merge slot. We're going to continue to use the classic parachute. So we're going to put our C1 outfit, put the parachute on, force a save. We're then going to log into our console 2 outfit, which is wearing the jeans. And once we have the save, we'll go back to our console 1, take the parachute off. And if everything was done correctly, we should be coming back into a session wearing the boxer shorts just like this. So you really don't notice a change, but when we do go into Crooked Cop, we're going to do the same thing, once to the left and then once to the right, or vice versa, depending on where you have it saved. And we're now going to put the pants on. So I am doing the black joggers. So again, once to the right, once to the left, we now have the joggers. So we have successfully built up the bottom half. So I have the shoes that I want and I have the joggers that I want. If you notice, the shoes did change color, so they are actually the black deadline shoes now, and I have the black joggers, okay? So from here, the next step I wanna do is I just wanna throw some gloves on this. So on my console one outfit, this is now saved as my console one, the one that we just did. Console two, all we need to change is we wanna put on the gray digital tactical gloves. Those are gonna be our console two. And then whatever racing gloves we wanna put, I'm gonna do the black ones. Those are gonna be in your merge slot. We're still going to use the classic parachute, so once we're ready with that, we're going to go ahead and select our console 1, put on the parachute and force the save. Then we're going to go ahead and log in our second console and put on the one with the grey digital tactical gloves. Then once that's saved, we go back to console 1 and reselect that outfit with no parachute, and we should spawn back in like this with no gloves. Okay. So now we're going to take that back into Crooked Cop, just like everything else. And once to the right, once to the left, and we're going to merge the gloves on now, okay? Now, if we were wanting to flip the color of the gloves later on, we would just make sure our Console 2 outfit would have the texture of the color that we want to flip them to. But because I'm actually going to keep them black, I'll just make sure that my C2 outfit always has the gray digital, because that is the texture for the black gloves. So now we can go ahead and save this as our new C1 outfit once again. So we haven't touched our C2 keep up to this point, all right? We've always been using the alternate C2 outfit. So now what we want to do is we're going to do the torso one. So I'm going to do the belt, but we also want to make sure we get one of the gas mask outfits here. So you want to take the gas mask and you want to take it over to a telescope, all right? So we're going to take it to the telescope. We're going to run by, hit right on the D-pad. And then what we want to do is select our new and improved C1 outfit to transfer over the gas mask onto our console one outfit. Now a lot of you might be familiar with this already. Once we've done this, we're gonna go over and save it and we wanna take it into Titan of a job to remove our torso one, which is actually gonna remove that vest and then we're gonna resave it. So I will go through that here as well pretty quick. So I'm just gonna run over to the mask store. I'm now gonna save this and I wanna save it right beside the belt that I wanna merge, okay? So again, I just named it gas. Now to make sure that we do spawn into Titan, with the gas mask, we want to kill ourselves here. So just take the easy way out. Now this should prevent you from getting that black stocking when you go into Titan of a job. So if you go into Titan of a job and you get the black stocking, unfortunately it's not going to work. When you do spawn in, you want to make sure you're wearing either the gas mask or no mask at all. If you're wearing that black stocking, exit out, try killing yourself again and try again. Worst case scenario, if it still doesn't work, you're going to have to close up, reset cash, and then hopefully to work at that point. So once we're in Titan, we're going to run over to the clothing store and we're just going to save this. And I'm just going to again save it right beside the belt that we're going to merge. So I'm going to just put it here in slot number 20. So my paramedic belt is in slot 19. Now, how you can tell this worked is we're just going to change our outfit. Once we change our outfit and we try to go back to the other one, it should not change. All right, so it's like an unselectable outfit right now. That means that the torso one has been uh, switched to a merge component. 
So now all we need to do is go into Crooked Cop, hover over the belt outfit first, and then switch to that new outfit that we just created, and the belt should transfer over to our now console one outfit, okay? So now we've got all of the things that we really need pretty much at this point together. So we're gonna save this now as our C1. Now the last thing that we need to do is we now need to build up our um, torso two that we want to merge. So I need to actually make the black deadline top because you obviously can't buy it. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a whole new separate outfit. We're gonna go into the orange squash sweater, number 54 of 93. And I want to go into my inventory and I want to put on the body armor and I want to put on the heavy body armor, which is the green one. So we want to now save this as a completely separate C1, put it somewhere else. I just label it C11 so I know it's different. And then for a secondary C2 outfit, C22, we're going to have any one of our deadline suits. And thirdly, I'm also going to merge on the armor at the same time. So I'm going to take the CEO armor and make sure it is now in my spot 1 or spot 20. So I can merge the armor onto the final black deadline top. Now we want to change our parachute back to the Israel. So we're going to go ahead and select our C1 outfit. We're going to put the parachute on, force the save. Once we've done that, we're going to go into our console 2. We're going to switch to the deadline suit that we have here. And then force the save once again. And once we've done that, go back to our C1, take that parachute off, and then from there we should spawn into a new session if everything was done correctly um, with the new black deadline top on. Now very important again, we're going to merge the armor before we do anything, so we're going to go ahead and take it right back into Crooked Cop. And I have that CEO armor saved in my spot 20, so I'm going to go simply once to the left, once to the right. Now I've got the torso 2 that I want with the armor that I want. So you can do this with any other armor that you may already own. So if you are lucky enough to bring on some colored armor with the um, Save Wizard outfits or Save Editor outfits, then you can actually merge those onto your new outfits as well. But unfortunately, if you wanted to flip the armor, they only go up to the color red. So you wouldn't be able to get your blue, gray, tan, white, or black. Okay. So now we're going to put this in our merge slot. So we got the black deadline with the CEO. This is going to be our new merge slot. So we want to make sure we put that in our spot 20. Now C1, we want to put the armor on because we want to make sure the armor actually transfer over. So we're going to go back in and put on our heavy armor. Alright, so we've got everything else built up how we want it here on our console 1. Literally all we need to do is add um, the torso 2. I'm also going to do the helmet at the same time. So I'm going to do the black helmet. I know it doesn't really matter. You can't tell the difference, but I'm going to do it anyways. So I'm going to put the biker helmet on that will correspond with the black bulletproof. And then now that is my new C1 outfit, so it's completely saved how I want it. Now we're going to go back to our C2 keep outfit because this has the merge component for our torso too. So we want to go into our shorts and put on the urban camo cargo. These are going to make sure that our black joggers do not change texture, do not change color. All right, so again, check out Silence website. So this is called color blocking. So now rubberized boots, we're going to put on the woodland trail again, okay? So we want to make sure that our pants and our shoes don't change color, as well as our gloves. So the gray digital tactical is going to be the black gloves. So once we have that how we want it, I'm just going to transfer a helmet over to it. And now this is my full C2 outfit. Now make sure you do not have armor on your C2 outfit, all right? So C1 is like this. C2 is the one we just built. Now we've got our torso 2 deadline top with the CEO armor in our merge spot. So now they are built how we want. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and continue with Beth. We are almost done. So we're going to select our C1 outfit. We're going to make sure we have the Israel parachute again. Okay, I'm going to put on the glasses and the parachute because I'm doing the helmet at the same time. So any sunglasses and the Israel parachute. Once we force a save, we're going to log into our console 2. We're going to select our C2 keep outfit, which we've color blocked. Put the sunglasses on and the parachute on if you want. If it doesn't matter anymore, you can just leave it as is. Uh, but once you force a save, we go back to C1 and we're going to remove those two components. So we're going to remove the glasses and remove the parachute. And that's going to force our save once again. And then once we do spawn back into a session, we should look like this. All right, so the navy quilted jacket has been flipped over to our joggers. Now we simply, you guessed it, we want to take it into Crooked Cop, and we're going to go once to the left, and once to the right, and we are done. So I know that was a mouthful, I know that was a lot, so make sure you go back, rewind it. I covered a lot. So a lot of you will be probably familiar with most of this right now. The biggest thing that I'm now showing you guys that's new is the logos. 
the torso one and how to do the armor so a lot of the in-betweens you probably already know and again I will leave a link down below to the full tutorial on how to do the con two console glitch if you are new to it uh, as well as I do have a full playlist with about 30 videos showing you different ways you can use it so again big shout out to silent none of this would be possible without her findings um, so definitely go check out her website and check out her Instagram as well so L L S I L X N T Alright guys, so this is your boy SCG, and until the next one, I'm out.